guys and welcome back and if you are a returning subscriber you'll probably see like this is a little bit of a different setup because I kid you not I've been going around every room in the house trying to find the best lighting to film this video and I've ended up just being in my office because at the minute I'm doing this office up I'm going to be creating a proper filming space but for now this is going to have to make do because this is the best lighting I can find in January guys and if you are new here or you've just found my channel then I'm very excited because as you can see from the title of this video I am doing my everyday makeup look I feel like I filmed this quite a while ago now so it's definitely updated since and I have loads of new products to share with you because I've kind of been gifted the whole new range of Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk makeup collection which I just feel so lucky I feel like I've been going on about this over on my Instagram a lot if you're not following me already it's at all Chloe Rose just because I've been using her products now for years like I'm just obsessed with her makeup I feel like it works really well on my skin and I'm just really excited to share these with you so I'm firstly going to talk you through the range so this is a package that came in the post and it just seriously made my day how cute it come in this like newspaper form so it's all about the new pillow talk range that she's brought out and if you can see here her pillow talk lipstick one is sold every two minutes which is actually insane so I feel like Charlotte Tilbury is obviously known to have amazing makeup but it's her pillow talk lipsticks that are also one of her hero products but I just thought this is the cutest packaging like this little newspaper and it's got all the products here inside so as you can see she's brought out a new eyeshadow palette which I can hands up say is amazing and then obviously all the different lipsticks they come in like intense shades now matte shades and then also her chic to chic blushes she's done a pillow talk one of that and also the beauty wand and the lip glosses so it's all going on so I'm really excited to share this all with you and basically how I created this look today so as I said before it's very much like an everyday kind of dewy glowy look which is what I always go for I never want it to look really heavy on my skin I just want it to look really light and natural but just sort of give me that like rosy glow so quickly before I get into this video and show you how I created this makeup look I actually forgot to mention how I did my base so I'm gonna do a video actually all on my skincare another day I feel like that needs a whole new video for it but obviously because I'm doing a Charlotte Tilbury kind of review I want to show you the products that I use for my skincare as well so this is her multi miracle glow cleanser mask and balm for baby soft skin I feel like that is a tongue twister but how insane is this tub it is massive and it is just amazing honestly I've been using it the past few days and my skin has just like it says on the tub felt so soft but I just feel like this is so satisfying even to look at. So I've been using this to cleanse my skin and then to moisturize it, I go in with the Charlotte, I go in with Charlotte's Magic Cream. I have hands down been using this cream for so long. It is a little bit on the expensive side, but it's so worth it. I don't know what she puts in it. It's definitely magic. I have a little inkling that maybe there's a bit of pseudocreme in here. I don't know because I feel like whenever I use it, if I have a little spot, it will just clear up and in the morning, like any redness goes as well. And it just smells so nice. It smells like baby wipes. And then I also use her eye cream, which is the Magic Eye Rescue. And again, it works miracles, especially if you're a little bit hungover or you've woken up early and you didn't get much sleep. I dab this on under my eyes and it just instantly brightens them. It's amazing. Like it says on the tub, it's magic that she puts in this stuff because honestly, it's so good. It might be a little bit more than the usual sort of beauty brands that you find in like Boots and Superdrug, but it is definitely worth investing in. Or if you've got a birthday or something coming up, then definitely put this on your wish list because I highly recommend them. And I just think it gives you such a good base because taking care of your skin is definitely a priority. It's something that I've been taking a lot more focus on recently and I think it just makes your makeup look a lot better especially if your skin underneath feels healthy and glowing so now I've given you my little skincare talk I'm going to show you the makeup so I always use wonder glow this is the one I already had I'm pretty sure I brought this one and then they've kindly gifted me a top up because I love it so I'm going to use this as my base I'm kind of running out so just do a little squirt and then I rub this in and I kind of use this basically as my primer it just gives you such a nice glow i'm not sure if you can see it on the camera i feel like the lighting is so bad at the minute but yeah just, oh god everything's flying everywhere so yeah as you can see it just gives a nice like glow to your skin and it is also basically like it's meant to be a good base for when you're taking pictures it's got like a soft focus beauty flash to it which is amazing 
turnaround tired your skin in a beauty flash there you go so it's just really good for putting under your foundation and then i also go in with this it's the flawless filter look how much i've used this i brought this i think at like the beginning of last year and it has lasted me like that is insane and i pretty much use it every day so it is honestly worth investing in. I'm using shade 5, which is the tan. And please don't judge me. I know I need to upgrade my makeup brushes. But I'm just going to go in with these old ones that I have. And just rub this in. So in the summer, I actually kind of just use this as like my main base. Like I don't really wear foundation. I just wear this. It just gives you a nice little bit of coverage and a glow. I just love it. See, as you can see, it just kind of like smooths out your... Everything's flying everywhere. It just kind of smooths out your skin, which I love. <laughs> this is why I can't be a beauty blogger. My brush... My brush just broke. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, we're going to just make this work for now. Oh my God, it's like coming off on my face. Right, I need to go out today and buy some new. And buy some new. I feel like the world is against me today trying to do this video. Okay, I'm just going to go in with this brush now instead and hopefully this will work. So now we're over that disaster, I'm going to go in with my foundation. So I've been using recently the Airbrush Flawless foundation and i've got it in shade six and shade seven i'm actually going to go in with shade seven today and this is the shade seven neutral so i think it comes in like cool warm and neutral if i remember correctly so i'm going to go with seven because i did myself a little bit of a tan last night um and then blend this in it honestly only needs like a few little dollops as you can see it goes a long way so i'm going to blend this in i'm going to have to use this blender for now because my other one just broke so this is like a medium to heavy kind of coverage compared to some of her other products which are quite of a light pro um, coverage but still I feel like even with Charlotte Tilbury products it's never going to be like thick on your skin as you can see you can still see like my freckles coming through underneath which I like so I don't like to wear really heavy makeup but in the winter time I normally go a little bit thicker because you just kind of need it you know Okay, so that is my main base done, and now I'm going to go in with concealer. So I'm using the Magic Away Liquid Concealer, and sometimes I do actually use my NARS concealer underneath if I want, like, a thicker coverage. But for today, I'm just going to go in with this, so you just twist it at the bottom. I kind of, like, really find the clicking noise therapeutic. And then I just go in under my eyes. I kind of just dab it. Um, as you can see, it's not, like, a really thick concealer it just kind of gives you a nice glow around the eyes so i'm just blending this out with my beauty blender which is semi damp and then i kind of blend it up here as well so i don't have like a really dark fade going on but as you can see i feel like already this color of foundation is really perfect for my skin tone I just always find that Charlotte Tilbury products work really well on my skin. Okay, so I'm now going to go in with my contour, but I feel like this one product I'm using isn't Charlotte Tilbury. It's L'Oreal. I've had it for ages, as you can see, like the packaging is just worn. It's one of their True Match concealers, but I've just got it in a really sharp, dark shade, sorry. And I use it as my sort of liquid base contour. I just put a few little dots where I needed and here on my jawline. And then I blend this in. Hopefully this brush doesn't break on me. So as you can see, it just gives a nice little creamy contour in the areas it's needed. And then I do here around my chin, up my jawline, and then I blend like outwards when I do it on my cheeks. And then I use kind of like the accent, excess, sorry, um, in my eyelids just so it all kind of blends nicely and then down the sides of my nose and then I kind of go in with my beauty blender around my nose as well just so it looks more blended and it's not like blocked 
but yeah that's that's my contour done so i'm now going to go in with bronzer and i use her film star bronze and glow palette as you can see it is very much used so i just love this bronzer i just think it's such a nice color and again it works really well with my skin tone so i just kind of put this in circular upward motions on my cheeks to give me a nice bronze glow and up here I kind of go in hard with my bronzer just because i like to look really tanned but as you can see it's just such a nice color and it's still you can still see the glow here coming through and i've not even put my highlight on yet and that was from the flawless filter so that is now done and i'm going to go in with my blush i feel like you should probably start with your eyeshadows first but i always seem to do my base and then go with my eyeshadow so this is the blush i'm using it is chic to chic and it has it's called like swish and pop so this is the swish and then this is the pop in the middle so literally just do it says swish and pop and then it just honestly gives your cheeks just a nice little rosy glow i just love how dewy my skin looks already and i haven't even put on my highlight yet so i'm going to go in with my highlight in a minute but before i do i'm going to do my eyes now so this is the new pillow talk palette i've put it back in the packaging just because i wanted to show you because i thought the packaging was so cute and i've been using it for like a few weeks now i've only kind of used out one of the palettes in here so this is it it comes with like one two three one two three so it's little sets and then you've got i'll remove this actually so you can see better so you've got day desk date and dream so I've been using this palette, I think I'm pointing at the wrong, right one for the viewfinder, which is the desk one. And I just love the colours of this. It's not too like glitzy for the day. And it's sort of these like browns and like light rosy pinks. And it just makes your eyes pop, especially if you've got blue eyes. I go in with this colour, which is, if I remember rightly, the Prime. So it's Prime Enhance Smoke. So this is the Prime shade. It's sort of like, it looks kind of like the bronzer colour. And then I just kind of use this with a big brush and go in circular motions all around my eyelids and come around the top bit as well. And as you can see, it just makes it look like it's blending in with your bronzer, which I love. In the day, I really don't like to do like massive eye makeup. To be honest, even when I go out, I don't. Um, I just like it to look blended with the rest of my makeup so like bronzy and it just makes your eyes pop a little bit and this is why I love Charlotte Tilbury products because as soon as you put on her eyeshadow as you can see it just sits really well and naturally and it just made my eyes pop already and that's only from the primer base sometimes I just generally use this and I don't go in with the other two shades because I just feel like this can be enough Okay, so I've just kind of put that on both eyes. As you can see, I've just sort of blended it outwards and I've just realised that my eyebrows could probably do with a good pluck, so please excuse them. I'm going to give them a little pamper tonight. Okay, so normally I'd probably just use this and then I'd blend it underneath a little bit, but because I'm doing this little tutorial, I want to show you how the other shades look. So I'm going to go in now with this pinky shade and it is just so pretty and I really like how it just kind of gives it your eyes like this rosy effect so as you can see I'm only kind of doing this on the outer corners to the middle of the lid and just sort of blend it in and then do the same on the other eye And then I'm going to go in with a small angled brush, as you can see if it will focus. And I'm going to go in with this pink shade underneath my eyes. Just so it all blends. And then we're going to go in now with the smoke. I'm going to use this brush again, because um, who cares. And I'm just going to use it in the corner of my eyes. I just think the top tip with eyeshadows is just make sure you blend it. So if I come in a little bit closer, hopefully you can see that it's just sort of like a subtle, it's like a brown slash rosy pinky look, um, but it's just made my eyes look a lot more blue and I like it. It's just kind of like an everyday 
look but it just gives you a little bit something something so i do have the feline flick i'm pretty sure i bought this myself a few weeks ago it's a quick fine line shadow pen it says and i love it because it is just so thin for wanting to do your eyeliner now i don't normally use pencil eyeliner like in my lid line if, if that makes sense i always do it on the outer bit so i'm gonna try to attempt to do this but it's so hard to do it in the mirror i'm thinking do i not because i'm scared that i'm gonna mess it up I'm also finding it harder to do because I've got LVL lashes at the minute. LVL is basically your own, it's just lift and um, tint. Because they're so lifted, it's hard to get underneath them, if that makes sense. I'm going to have to bring this mirror closer so I can do it properly. I'm not going to lie, I feel like I've done a pretty good job. So I saw in one of her, I just need to fix it up a little bit. I saw in one of her tutorials that you basically draw the line and then you would do a dot in here and join it up. But that's more sort of like for a bigger feline flick where for the daytime I don't want to do a massive flick. But I think that would do for now and then I'm going to go in with an earbud and sort of... Um, blend it out so i feel like one side always goes better than the other but it will do because i want to show you this highlight so i've recently started using this one and it is the beauty light wand it is amazing like honestly i recommend it so it, you open it up and then you sort of twist it it's got the on and off little twizzle here and then you squeeze it and it just sort of comes out and i sort of dab it on like this how insane is this highlight i love a creamy one more than a powdered one and obviously i showed you before i do have this which is her contour her little contour palette and it's got the highlight in as well which is really good but me personally just because i love a real dewy look i love this one because it's more of a liquid base and then i just pat this in with my fingers up my cheekbones It's honestly the highlight from the gods. That is my highlight done and I don't really bake. I just use the translucent powder and I'll show you how I use that. So this is the magic powder and I've literally had it for so long. I'm kind of scared that it's running out. You know, and you just feel like something is just constantly keeps giving and surely the powder is going to run out. So it's like this and I normally just dab my beauty blender in here and go to the areas which I know are shiny and sort of go underneath here to create a little bit of a lift on my cheeks and then I go in here around my nose and under my eyes to sort of get rid of any of the creases so it just kind of mats the areas that you want and gives and then obviously the highlight gives the shine on the areas that you do want as well so I always kind of have this in my handbag and have it with me on the go and I'll just take like a little brush and top it up in the day if I feel like I'm getting a little bit oily in the t-zone so for my eyebrows I'm not actually using Charlotte Tilbury this is the benefit I think it's called I think this one's gimme brow the packaging's actually come off it because I've used it so much so I just use this to begin with on my brows and just sort of brush them up and it sort of just fills them in a little bit with the gel but I just find this colour which is also ran out I'm pretty sure it's two um just goes really well with my brows because I'd never want them to be too dark because i am got my blonde hair but then obviously I don't want them to look too light because then I look like I've got no brows whereas this is kind of like the in-between so I've recently been introduced to the Anastas Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow products and this is actually insane so this is her brow whiz and it's the pencil so I'm just going to use this today because obviously it's like an everyday look so I'll show you how I use this so I just sort of draw in the hair strokes and then I also draw in the line underneath to give shape to my brow just following the natural shape of it and also here on top. So I've got to say, I actually had my eyebrows, I think it was HD like two years ago now. So they definitely need um, redoing, but 
I kind of have a base to them and then I use a little spoolie at the end to brush it out but I like this bit at the front to look a little bit bushy as so but as you can see this one looks way more done than the other and I'm going to go in with the other side now. Now I've got my brows how I want them I'm going to go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the clear brow gel just to sort of set them in place and brush them up and make them look a little bit more fluffy like so. So I do actually have the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Mascara but my favourite one is the L'Oreal Paradise and like I said before I've already got LVL lashes at the minute so I'm only going to use a little bit of mascara on them just to make them a little bit more defined. But yeah these are my lashes. So last but not least I'm going to go in with my lips. So as this collection is the Pillow Talk collection it has obviously got all the new lipsticks in it and the lip glosses so I'm going to show you them. This is the Pillow Talk Intense as you can see here which I will show you the shade right now. It's basically the same obviously it just says what it has in the package. It's a little bit darker compared to this one. So this is the original Pillow Talk and this is the Pillow Talk Intense. You can see it's just sort of like a shade darker and then she's also brought it out in a matte version, so I'll show you this as well. So it's pretty much the same as the original Pillow Talk, it just gives more of a matte finish. And then if you do want to make it glossy, there's obviously the Pillow Talk lip glosses, which are amazing. I've actually used this one for years. How amazing is the packaging? I just think it is so sweet. And this is the colour of it, and it just gives such a nice shine on the top of your lips. And I always feel like it gives it a little bit of a plump as well. So I'm going to show you how I do my lips. This is the Pillow Talk Lip Liner, so I'm going to go in with this first and just line around my lips. And obviously we always want our lips to look a little bit juicier, so I always kind of bring it underneath a little bit more at the bottom. But I do generally follow the natural line of my lips, because otherwise I just think it looks silly if you overdo it. So that's the liner and now I'm going to show you the lipstick because I'm just so excited about it because I love it so much and I've just been wearing it for years. The fact she's brought out this whole range just I love. So this is the Pillow Talk. This is the original one. And as you can see it is just such a nice colour. It's this sort of brownie nude pink all them mushed together to make one incredible lipstick and then I'm going to go in now with the lip gloss on top and I just put it in the middle areas as so just because it makes your lips look a little bit bigger when just the middle bits have the gloss on. So yeah this is pretty much the final look guys as you can see it's more of like an everyday look it's just got that dewy glow to it which I absolutely love and most of all these products that I've showed you today are Charlotte Tilbury and I just feel like I can't rave about them enough I'm obsessed with them I've been using them for years and I definitely highly recommend some of the products are obviously a little bit on the pricey side so if you do want to invest in them I suggest going in with things like the concealer or the beauty wand sort of like the one-off pieces to get you started because they're definitely investment pieces like I said I had this floor filter since the start of last year it's still lasted me the wonder glow i've had for ages except for my finally got my top up now and this magic powder i also highly recommend it's lasted me over a year i feel like i'm not really one to hype a lot about makeup but i definitely always swear by charlotte tilbury products so i really hope you liked this video if you did please give it a massive like and i'll come back and do a lot more looks Maybe I'll try out a few more of a different palettes. Maybe do a video of me trying out her tutorials as well. So if you'd like to see that, let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, guys, I will see you then.